Hello, Dan Matichek here again. Uh, I wanted to show you uh, one other little trick, a uh, trick of the trade, uh, when working with uh, fiberglass and resin uh, that I used on the uh, lead style potter's wheel. Uh, I said that I was going to coat it in resin, and I put the, uh, the putty on, and again, I'm a, I wasn't concerned with, you know, appearance, uh, so I just, you know, quickly puttied the corners just so they're rounded, so that it's easier to clean up. And then when I went to cut it with resin, I decided to use a, uh, a technique that I use quite often when I'm fabricating uh, uh, custom fiberglass panels in, in cars, and that's to use a uh, putty resin mixture. Uh, because I, I told you in the last video that uh, polyester resin is what is uh, used to make body putty, and they just add talc to it. Uh, but they also add some conditioners, which brings me to the point of using this combination. Uh, First of all, the reason I used a combination of resin and putty, uh, it does not make it stronger. It will make it make make it weaker. You can add actually add up to 10% of uh, filler before it starts affecting the strength to, to any degree. But what it does is it makes it thicker, so that it uh, adheres better. It's kind of like almost like in terms of pottery, like a glaze um, when you put it on. It's thick. It goes into all the cracks, like all the little little pinholes and everything where I don't want water seeping in. Uh, it sticks in there better, fills all the all the cracks, and smooths out the bottom a little bit, uh, make a nice smooth surface. Uh, if I use about a 50, normally I would use about a 50-50 ratio of putty and um, resin. If it was something that I was going to uh, sand, um, it makes a basically a a, a softer uh, resin that, that's actually sandable. Um, and in some cases, some pieces I do, I might even use as much as 75% putty, uh, which would make it really thick, um, and, uh, but still brushable, almost like a brushable putty. Um, but in this case, I used about probably close to 50-50 percentage. And what it does also is, it, if you can actually see in here uh, from the glare, that it, it, gla it um, makes it flow. And part of the reason is because uh, body putty the difference between the two, besides having the tail, body putty also has uh, an emulsifier um, in the putty uh, and actually in the hardener. So when you go to use the hardener when you're using this, this mixture, uh, I use both. I use the, the normal amount of uh, MEKP, which is the hardener for the uh, polyester resin, and uh, the normal amount of uh, the cream hardener for the body putty. Mix the two resin and the putty together first to its, you know, the consist consistency that you want. Then add the two hardeners because there's also, like I say, that conditioner in the uh, in the um, cream hardener for the putty. So uh, that conditioner, um, it's a, actually a conditioner emulsifier. It helps to uh, not only condition the uh, the mixture, but emulsify it actually helps it to, to blend better. So uh, when you're using the combination, it helps in the same way. And uh, boy, that was a lot of talking really fast, trying to squeeze it in, but there you go. Uh, I also put a coat of resin on my, uh, on my head, the head of my potter's wheel, that is. You can see it's nice and shiny. Um, I know you normally try to avoid shiny surfaces with when you're using the, uh, you know, on something like a head, but because the, the putty will uh, stick. But in this case, I think that's a good thing. Not putty. I'm sorry. The the uh, clay. In this case, I think that's a good thing because when I put my clay on to attach my bat, um, the way Simon Leach taught me, uh, <laughs> it'll uh, it should stick really nice to the resin surface as well as protecting the wood. And. Uh, that's it. Hey, have a nice day. And uh, thanks for looking. If you have any comments, uh, let me know or uh, post a comment or email me. And uh, if anyone wants to make one of these, um, the plans are on the internet. If you do a search for Leech, uh, for Kick Wheel, actually, there's a site that has a, a guy has a, uh, a Kick Wheel that he did. It's the site's been up for s several years. Um, but also on that page, he has a uh, leech style kick wheel, which is the, the treadle wheel. And uh, that's where I got the plans, although I modified them a bit, but that should help you. If you have any questions, drop me a line. Tomorrow I practice, Simon. Thanks.